Hello and welcome to Rock Drumming, lesson number six. In this video, I'm going to show you some basic drum fills using 16th notes on the snare drum, rack tom, and floor tom. Now before we start, make sure to click the link below for a free PDF of this lesson. Let's start by taking the first exercise from lesson number three, and we'll use this beat as our template for all the exercises in this lesson. For the first example, we're simply going to replace the last eighth note hi-hat stroke in the second bar with two sixteenth notes on the snare. Now since we have two notes where there used to be only one, we're going to have to change the way we count. We still have a stroke on the and of four, but now we have another stroke on the end. So when we're counting out loud, we'll call the one on the end, uh. These strokes are meant to be played with alternating sticking. So if you're leading with your right hand, you'll play them like this. Right, left. The last thing you need to know is that you're going to have to play these strokes at exactly double the speed of the other notes. Okay, now let's play the beat one time slowly and remember to count out loud as we go. One and two and three. Three and four and one and two and three and four and up. All right, now let's go a little faster and play the beat four times in a row without stopping. Okay, let's replace the hi-hat stroke on beat four in the second bar with two more sixteenth notes on the snare. And again, we're going to have to change the way we count. We'll call the new note between four and the and of four, E. Just like before, these will be played with alternating sticking. Let's try it once slowly while counting out loud. One and two and three and four. Four and one and two and three and four and up. Now go a little faster and play it four times in a row without stopping. All right, let's move the last two strokes to the rack tom. Okay, now move those two strokes to the floor tom. All right, now let's move the snare stroke on E to the rack tom.
Okay, let's go back to exercise number two, and we'll extend the fill by replacing the eighth note on the and of three in the second bar with two sixteenth notes on the snare. All right, now again, let's move those last two sixteenth notes to the rack tom. Okay, put the last two strokes back on the snare, and now we'll play the rack tom on 4 and E. Okay, now let's move the last two strokes to the floor tom. Lastly, let's replace the eighth note on beat three in the second bar with two more sixteenth notes on the snare. Okay, now we'll play through all the examples again, but this time, let's go a little faster.
and that's it for my lesson on basic drum fills. Now keep in mind, I've only given you a tiny fraction of all the possible fills. And remember, we only used one beat for all the exercises. So when you're practicing, try to experiment with different beats. Thanks for watching. See you next time.